Welcome to the channel Physics by IIT Kirans. So hereby we are starting optics series, and today I will discuss about the wave plates or retarders and the analysis of the polarized light. So last time I discussed the polarization. What is what do you mean by polarization? The plane polar types of the polarized lights, whether it is circularly polarized light, plane polarized light, or elliptically polarized light. and then i have discussed how can you get polarized lights like by refringence by like the reflection from dielectrics okay so or scattering phenomena so please before see watching this video please go through the other videos so that your concept becomes clear first then you come to the video okay so let's start the definition that wave plates or retarder is a retarder is a uniform plate of birefringent material which can divide incident wave into two polarized wave that travel perpendicular to the plate at different speed a phase retardation of one wave related to other is introduced as the wave wave crosses the thickness of the plate what do you mean by this uh, let me explain it Earlier videos I have explained you that the birefringence. This is the main thing that the birefringent material. What do you mean by birefringence? Now from the name, birefringence means there are two refractive indices in a crystal like calcite quartz. Two refractive indices in a single crystal. Two refractive indices in different direction. Suppose along x, the refractive index is n x. And along y, the refractive index of the crystal is n y. How is it possible? It is possible if there are some kind of asymmetry or in case of anisotropic crystal. These are called anisotropic crystal where the there are asymmetrical structure in the crystal. Okay. Now you have to relate how the asymmetry can be related to the anisotropic nature or the different refractive indices of the crystal let us assume that there is an ion and ions and there are electrons bounded to the ions now suppose the distance along one direction uh, that is x direction the electrons are bounded like this way where and the, there will be another electrons also so along is they are bound like this way And along y, suppose the force constant is different. Suppose the distance between along uh, x between the ions and electrons are something that is different from the distance between the ions and uh, electrons along the y direction, along the y axis. So the dif distances are different, and the force constant will be also different because the difference in the frequency. There will be some frequent uh, ratio. If you assume that this is a simple harmonic motion that is going to be happen when there are incident electric field in form of light, okay. So the light electric field will tries to uh, get it out from the ion and it will make uh, and the Coulomb attraction between the two uh, between the two uh, charges that is electron and ion it will make it closer. so it will like a spring like behavior or force vibration due to that force vibration there will be some omega that is force constant or frequency or you can also write in terms of kx and also you can write it in terms of ky where kx and ky will be different so there will be different omega and due to this different omegas there will be different refractive indices please go and check the video the physics of refractive index where you can understand how this model can be realized to uh, define the refractive index so suppose along x the refractive index will be uh, in terms of refractive index we can write kx as nx by c into omega that is 2 pi by lambda x and ky will be ny by c into omega that is 2 pi by lambda y so we all know that the phase difference is 2 pi by lambda into path difference so the path difference if there is a crystal of length capital l one is the e ray another is the o ray 
Suppose the along the x direction, if the tra distance travel is l, and also along the y direction, also the same distance will be traveled. So the delta phi will be 2 pi by lambda x into l minus 2 pi by lambda y into l. So in terms of omega, you can write as omega into n x minus n y into c into l. So this is the phase retardation. I mean, if somehow you have to realize it physically like that, if you have some incident light, incident electric field, and then the wave vector can get the length, wavelength can get uh, different. Uh, 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 the velocity will be changed. Suppose it is coming from air to the crystal. Crystal. So the velocity will be v, and where v is less than c. So suppose this is one ray, and another ray along the y-axis. Suppose it is along the x direction, and along the y direction, it will be like. this and you don't get any phase difference after passing through the crystal the phase difference within inside the crystal due to the refractive index differences so refractive index different means vx will be different from vy okay so the phase uh, the wave propagation will be different along different directions so this is the basics of birefringence. So in wave plates, you use a birefringent material. You somehow design your birefringent plate such that it will induce a phase difference of lambda by 4, a phase difference of lambda by 2. Okay. When the phase difference you, in, you are introducing, that is lambda by 4, it is called quarter wave plate. And when the phase difference you are introducing, that is lambda by 2, it is half wave plate. Lambda by 4, I can also write it as pi by 2. And lambda by 2, I can also write as pi. Now, the question is, these are the types, that quarter wave plate, half wave plate, full wave plate. Where the full wave plate, lambda will become lambda. Okay. And application, what is the application? Before going to tell the application, let us review the whole thing, that the dispersion relation in this way, birefringent crystals are dependent on the k-vector and it is dependent on the structure of the material. So delay in phase, a delay of phase in x component will be delay in phase in y component and the delay will be such that the difference will be such that the overall phase difference should be pi or uh, uh, pi by 2. Okay? So, you will get the two electric field vectors, one is E ray and one, another is O ray and you are making the two electric fields, the phase difference of the two electric fields such that there will be lambda by 4 phase difference introduced or lambda by 2 phase difference is introduced. Now what is the application of this quarter wave plate? Suppose you are taking a linearly polarized light and you want to make a circularly polarized light. How do you do that? You are taking a linearly polarized light, linearly polarized light along this direction. It is also linearly polarized light. So it can be decomposed into two components, one along x, another along e, y. So you pass it and the lid, it is making an angle 45 degree. Now you are passing it through a lambda by 4 plate. What will happen? It will introduce a phase difference of 90 degree. Because lambda by 2 is, sorry, it, uh, lambda by 4, it is lambda by 4 equals to pi. So lambda by 2 equals to pi by 2. That is a quarter by split. So it will induce a four phase difference of pi by 2, that is 90 degree, between the two electric field components. Since both, there is a 45 degree angle between the two components, so the magnitude of Ex is will be exactly equal to the magnitude of Ey. Hence, what should we get? Definitely, we should get a one circularly polarized light. Now, what do you want to, if you want to get elliptically polarized light, what you have to do? Don't worry, just change the angle, make it 30 degree. Because the, although the angles is the phase difference is 90 degree, 
but the component of Vx is not, the magnitude of Vx will be not equal to magnitude of Vy. In that case, you will surely get elliptical polarized light. So, this is the application of wave plates. So, friends, I think you can understand the basics, physics of wave plates. So, till now, happy learning and stay.